So let's continue with the two pointer and sliding window playlist on the Strivers A to Z DLC course. But we were starting off. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we will be solving today is number of substrings containing all the three characters. So what is the problem stating? It is stating that you'll be given a string and the string will be containing A, B, C. Nothing apart from it. Only these three characters. Now your task is to figure out the number of substrings. Now what is a substring? Any consecutive portion of the string which has all the three characters. Three characters means A, B and C. For an example, if I pick up this particular substring, B, B, A, it has two characters B and A, but it doesn't have the third, which is the character C. So this cannot be considered. For an example, if I pick up this substring, which is B, B, A, C, this can be considered because it has A, B, C in it. So you'll have to figure out the total number of substrings. Substring, obviously not. This is the second, no, no, yes, this is the first substring. So I have one, this is also possible, and this is also possible. So I have three substrings, correct? Okay. After that, I have this one, not possible, this one, not possible, this one, possible, this one, possible, this one, possible. So I again have three, three plus three, six, okay. This one, no. This one, no. This one, yes. This one, yes. Another two. Six plus two, eight. This one, no. This one, no. This one, yes. Because it has all the three characters. So one. Eight plus one, nine. So the answer will be nine. And this is what you will have to return. So again, what is the extreme naive solution that you can think of? I just did it. Try out all the substrings. Can I do it? Very simple. I'll be standing at here and then I'll be expanding, 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 expanding. I'll keep a count of the number of characters. So what I can do is I can straight away start i equal to zero and I can go ahead till n. You know how to iterate on all the substrings. We already have done it so many times. J will be from i to n standard and we have to keep a track of all the scene characters. Maybe what I can do is I can keep a hash array of size 3 because we only have A, B and C and I can assign it initially to be 0. So what I'll do is hash of S of J. You can subtract the smaller A from it so that A resembles to 0, B resembles to 1, C resembles to 2, right? And what you can do is maybe you can just mark it as 1. Quite simple. That means you have seen that particular character. Once this is done, can I write, hey, listen, if hash of 0 plus hash of 1 plus hash of 2, if that's equivalent to 3, which means all the three characters are there. And if that is the case, this can be added to my answer because this is definitely a substring. This is definitely a substring. Can I say this? And eventually I can end the for loop and the count will be 0. Can I return this? Yes, I can return this or you can print it whatever you wish to. What will be the time complexity? Can I say that the time complexity will be we go of n square because like near about n square, if not exact, near about n square. And what about the space complexity? I'm using a hash map, sorry, hash array, but that is of size three. That's as good as we go of one. So this will be the time complexity. Can I optimize the brute force? Yes, I can. Not by a significant margin. I'll show you a simple trick. And that trick is what we'll be using to derive the most optimal solution. Okay. Tell me one thing. You started from here. And you said that the B substring doesn't have three characters. Then you expanded and added the next B. And you said BB is not. Then you expanded and added A. And you say no. Then you expanded and added C. And you said Yes, this is the moment you said yes. This is the moment the if will say yes. Now tell me one thing. If I know that this possible substring has all the three characters, do I need to traverse any further? No, I don't need to because even if I add B, even if I add A, those substrings which will be formed in future by adding 
will also be a valid substring. So can I say the moment I get a valid substring, every substring beyond this will also be valid? I can. So can I say if I if I get this here, I can straight away add three to my answer, and I don't need to go ahead. I can straight away add three to my answer, and how I can do it? It's very simple. If you write down the index number zero, one, two, three, four, five. The string length is 6. You figured it out at the third index that it is possible. So you can say 6 minus third index and you can straight away add that to your answer. So a simple optimization will be I can remove this count and I can write, hey listen, hey count, can you straight away add count plus whatever is the size of the string minus j. You can figure out the size of the string and after that, please break out. Please break out. There is no need to add this B. There is no need to add this A. You can straight away now go ahead and start from this B, this B A, B A C. And again, it will be valid over here. So you can again add some more answers. Got it? So this is a slight optimization. Will that improve the time complexity? Yes, for certain test cases, but not for the worst. Imagine I give you a string like A, 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 A. It'll still traverse till the end, right? Because you don't have a, any valid combination where the break will be executed. This is a shuttle optimization. I did it because I want to explain you the optimal solution. So I'm looking to optimize my previous solution. The previous solution was taking n square. If I'm looking to optimize, I'm definitely looking to go towards the direction of b go of n. The problem has substrings, like two pointer, right? So I'll start thinking of the two-point algorithm. But now the question arises, I need to make sure I have all the three characters. So I need to make sure that I get a window which has all the three characters, right? That's how I have to think for sliding window, okay? But I'll have to figure out number. I'll have to count. It's not longest that I'll expand or shrink. I have to count. So I'm looking to count. And there are substrings. I know one thing. With every index, there are a bunch of substrings that start. With B, this is a substring BB, BBA, BBAC, BB, this, this. And then with this B, this one, this one, this one. With every character, there is a substring. There are multiple substrings that start. I'll do the reverse. I'll do the reverse. I'll say, with every character... There is a substring that ends with every character. There is a substring that ends. I can do it from the front as well, but I will do for the end for a frontward uh, implementation. You'll understand at the end. Uh, with every character, there is a substring that ends. What does that mean? With the C, I can say that this is a substring where this is the last character. This is a substring where C is the last character. This is a substring where C is the last character. This is a substring where C is the last character. Okay. So I know how to access uh, every substring that ends at any given character. Okay. So now I'll try to figure out, okay, listen, just, just for the sake of understanding. If I'm standing at this B and I'm asking you, hey, what is the minimal length. What is the minimal length of the substring that has all the three characters? You will be like this one. Again, please keep it in mind that you should be ending at the this B. So you cannot take anything beyond this. You have to look before it. So I'm very sure that this particular substring has all the three characters. And this is the minimum window we can have. This is the minimum window we can have. We can have this minimum window. Can I say this is one substring, right? How many more substrings can I have? I cannot add in the front because I'm just looking for substrings that end at this B, that end at this B. So I cannot add it in the front, but I can add in the back. I already have one. I can still expand it. I can still expand it. The same logic that we did in the brute force, the optimization. I can do an expansion. So this is what I will try to do. For every for every character, 
I'll try to figure out the minimum window. If I can figure out the minimum window, I know one thing, this is going to be one, this is going to be two, this is going to be three. That's nothing but, if I write down zero, one, two, basically index numbers, this is the second index. And if this is the minimum, minimum, how many substrings can you get that has all the three characters where basically it ends with this B. So ACB is one, this is another and this is another, correct? ACB, this one and this one. So I have three, which is nothing but index plus one, two plus one, three, correct? Let's try to expand this logic and let's see how I can figure it out. I'll tell you. No way. As of now, just understand what's my thought process. So what I will do is, I'll straight away uh, take a hash map and I'll keep ABC equal to minus one, minus one, equal to minus one. Perfect. And I'll start iterating. I'll write down the indexes as well. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You'll understand, don't worry. Let's start iterating. Add the character B. First thing we'll do is, we'll update this. And we'll say this is, the character B was last seen. This is very important. Was last seen at the index 0. Okay. Tell me one thing. For B, if this is the last index, I'll have to look on the left. I'll have to look on the left, right, to get a valid window. And I don't see it because I don't have a A, I don't have a C. So I don't see it. Not an issue. We will straightforward go to the next one. I again have a B. I don't, I just do one thing. I'll update this to index 1. But do I see A and C? No, it's still minus 1. So thereby, three characters are not possible. Let's move ahead. This, that's an A. Update A to index 2. Perfect. Mm -hmm. But still, there is no C. So I cannot have a window. Let's go to the C. Now this is the moment you start understanding. You see a C and you update it to 3. Now tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. If you are standing at C and you have A, you have B, you have C. How do you recognize that this is the minimal window. How do you recognize that this is the minimal window which has all the three characters? You basically look over all the last seen values and you see that B is at the index 1. Thereby, if you start from B and you know currently you are at C, you will have everything. Because if the minimal value is at B, A and C are after it. Are after it. So I'm very sure at index 1, till this, it's a valid one which has all the three characters. Minimum possible window. This is a valid substring. And if this is a valid substring, I can add on every character to the left. I can add on every character to the left. And I can generate more and more substrings, which is ending at this particular character C. Which is ending at this particular character C. Okay, fine. How many do I get? I get 2. Very obvious. One. My bad. I'll use the marker. Otherwise, it'll be messy. One and two. BBAC and BAC. Perfect. What is the next step? I'll move the C to uh, move the pointer to the B. First thing you'll do is please update B. Now again you will see that you have A, you have B, you have C, and if you have them, what you're looking at is. What is the minimal window? So look for the value of A, B and C. And you see that A is at the leftmost. A is at the leftmost. So A is at 2. That means this is the minimal window. And if this is the minimal window, this is a possible substring. You can add everything to the left. Thereby you can create, this is the individual 1 and you can create 2 more. 3, which is nothing but 2 plus 1. So you can just create 3 more. Perfect. Next you will do is, you will take this and you will move it to A. First thing you will do is, you will straight away update A to 5. 
and now you will ask okay ending at this what is the minimal window and you will figure it out a b c c has the minimal value so thereby this is the minimal window and if this is the minimal window can i say this that along with this i can add this 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 typically four additions typically four additions and it is at index 3 so 3 plus 1 four and after that what you can do is you can finish it up and that is over so if you add it up you'll get 9 so what i did was i did the same brute force thing i tried to generate all the substrings but in a smarter way in a smarter way standing at every index i tried to figure out what is the minimal you could you could have done it in the opposite way as well standing at the first figure out the minimal on the right for that you'll have to traverse in the backward direction that's why i took the opposite that's why i took the opposite you can do the opposite as well very simple very clean figure out every possible yes, figure out for every character because i have taken every character into consideration so i will not be missing out on any substrings I've taken every character remember that in your head so can we quickly write down the code obviously right okay uh, which color let's use yellow yeah that's my favorite color which color should i use uh, orange yeah, that's my favorite one yeah take you forward is also in the orange theme so you'll be given a string right so let's take a string what is the first thing that you'll do i need to have a last scene so maybe you can create a last scene to minus 1 minus 1 and a minus 1 where minus 1 signifies that you haven't seen it right and uh, at the same time you can keep a count equal to 0 after that what i can do is i can start iterating from add 0 to n and what i will do is first thing i'll do is last scene and whatever is the value again minus a equal to the current index okay and please make sure that you have three of them so you can just write a simple condition if last scene what is it uh, zero is not equal to minus 1 and n for all the three that means you have three of them and if you have three of them what you do is you say count equal to count plus 1 plus is whatever is the index whatever is the index you do a 1 plus to it right minimum of last scene of 0 last scene of 1 last scene of 2 and just write it and once you've done this you can straight away return the value of count and that will be done so you can try uh, omitting uh, this check as well even if you do not check if three of them are what will happen is one of the minimums will come up as minus 1 if it is not there it will come up as minus 1 and 1 plus minus 1 will end up to be zero so you can actually omit the check as well i did write it because i wanted to explain you so what will be the time complexity can i say that the time complexity will be i don't have to even explain straight forward b go of n what about the space complexity a b go of n because i'm just using three variables like three space array so it's as good as a constant time super simple super clean you just have to think of it that's it think of the window solutions again uh, i hope you have understood it so this will be it for this one so if you are still now watching and if you have understood everything please please do consider giving us a like and if you are new to our channel do consider subscribing to us as well with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in some other video till then bye bye yeah. whenever your heart is broken